Hey, what's going on YouTube? Why my jazz hands? Hey, what's going on YouTube? ADC Art Attack here. Welcome back to a brand new drawing video. And in today's video, I'm not going to be drawing. I'm actually going to bypass the entire drawing, the entire inking stage, and I'm going to jump right into the coloring. So what we've got today is a lovely coloring book featuring Superman, the greatest, most powerful, most unique superhero to have ever lived. The best superhero to have... Why are you looking at me like that? Oh, is it? Oh, this? This old thing. No, no, no. This, this. No, Superman is the best superhero to ever exist. No, 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 no. He is absolutely the best superhero ever created. I mean, really, no one is better than him. So yes, we are going to be coloring in Superman. Superman is a pretty fantastic hero. And yeah, I saw this in my local store and it was very cheap. It was actually... Two euros, really cheap. I figured I'd pick it up and why not? We could do a fun challenge on this. Uh, I have no idea what the paper quality is like and I didn't even really flick through it. So I'm gonna flick through it right now. We're gonna see what we can find in here and hopefully we can get ourselves a nice image to work with. So let's have a look and see what we find. Okay, so here we have our lovely Superman comic with, of course, our greatest superhero of them all. Having a look for it, we're gonna see if we can find ourselves a perfect image, something that we can really work with and something we can make look cool and unique and really, really awesome. Now, what I am noticing already is not all of these images have the most amazing details, but I'm sure we can add some details into this. What do you guys think about that? Shall we add a few of our own details? Let's keep looking through and see if we can find something nice for us. Let's see, we've got no muscles here. What's going on? I actually like the inking style of these. I'm assuming they're straight from the comic books themselves. Okay, I think we finally settled on the greatest pose that we could find. I think that we found him. So, what we're going to do right now is begin drawing this and coloring this. Sorry, I'm not going to draw anything. I'm lazy. I I'm pretty looking forward to doing this. And I think that we're going to be able to make this look at least half as epic as Goku. So, let's uh, see what happens here. And uh, I have one question for you before we start doing this and start coloring. Who would win in a fight? Goku or Superman? Leave your comments down below. Let's do this. Okay, okay, we get it. I'm crazy. But what's up, everyone? So this is my attempt at coloring this Superman from the children's coloring book, Colorio. Now, before I got on to coloring this, I saw things that I figured I needed to change. So I wanted to add a couple small details, just minor details. And I did add some more along the way and towards the end. Just things that I thought would look a little bit better and just bring this a little bit more complete. I, there, there are a few lines that are missing and they just had to be added in. Once I had those added in, I decided it was time to get on with the coloring because that is the point of this video. And I quickly discovered that my inking style just was not gonna work. I tried to do my coloring style with the arm and I just completely butchered it. I tried to go over it and correct it with a different style. That style didn't work either, so I, I'm not actually sure why it wasn't working. I, I don't know if it was just because of the paper, if it because I was being too critical. I'm not sure what it was really, but it just wasn't working for me. But with that arm out of the way, I moved it to the side and I decided, you know what, we're going to get up with the rest of this drawing. Now getting on with the rest of the drawing, I quickly discovered that my styles just had to change. I had to try something completely new. I couldn't do what I was doing my entire life. I couldn't do the style that I have grown up with and the style that I have learned. I decided to jump out of my element, go out of the box and try something different. And all I was doing here was just throwing the colors on the paper. I was putting things down and seeing what stuck. That said, this paper took it like a champ. This paper is actually pretty damn good. For a children's paper, I guess you could categorize it as children's paper or a low quality paper or whatever kind of paper you want to call it if you want to insult it in any way, shape or form, it's actually pretty good. I wasn't getting any bleeding. The blending was actually very, very nice. I was getting a great blend with this. I wasn't getting any bleeding and I don't know if that was because of the ink obviously being pressed into the paper. I don't know if it was that, but I wasn't experiencing any bleed. I, I didn't bleed out of the lines. I didn't go anywhere. It was really nice and very easy to stay within the lines, which was obviously as a child, extremely difficult to do. Mm. 
Now along the way, I decided to myself I wasn't going to use colored pencils. I figured that colored pencils would be cheating a little bit, but there were some areas I thought, you know what, maybe I could get away with a sneaky colored pencil. So I decided to just limit myself to the white colored pencil. I thought that it would add a nice sheen to this drawing towards the end, so you will see me later on doing that. But for now, I just really didn't want to use colored pencil. I thought it was a little bit too much of a cheat to throw that in there as well, because I could get some great depths with that. And I wanted to keep this just purely marker and just, I don't know, I like to set myself these mini challenges when I do this. So that's why I just stuck with marker and wanted to see how it would look. Now speaking of the markers, you guys are probably wondering what markers do I use because this is a very common question and I answer it a lot actually. Uh, so I use brush markers and pro markers. They are by the same company, Windsor & Newton. They used to be owned by Electroset and I still have many of the Electroset markers. I've actually been using them for about seven years now, which is a testament to those markers that I still have some of the originals and they still work fantastically well. Now the reason I have brush marker and pro marker is simply because they don't have the full color range in the brush marker pens. I don't know why. I've been getting at them. I really want to just push this. I need them to move the pro markers into the brush markers or give us an option to use the brush markers on the pro markers because that I, I really don't like using pro markers. And anytime I'm forced to use them, I just decide to use the chisel on the back because I feel like I have a little bit more control with that. These colors are extremely vibrant and this paper actually showed that as well, which I was very surprised with. These colors are extremely vibrant. They are extremely cheap. They're about half to more than that cheaper than Copics. So they're very good. And in my opinion, they are the best markers on the market, but it's entirely up to you. It's up for debates. It's whatever. Uh, yeah, I just really like them and that's why I use them. Now with all that being said, I am a big comic book fan. I love comic book art styles. I think it's fantastic. I am a Superman fan as well as being an anime fan and things. I know it's sort of controversial to be a fan of like Goku and Superman. I like them both. So I have my opinions on that. I really do like them. And I think the art style is fantastic for both of them. So what do you think? Do you like the comic book style? And if you do like it, then please comment a character down below you'd like to see me tackle in the future because I would like to do more comic book art in the future, especially drawing it. I do enjoy drawing and especially inking comic book art style. Coloring is whatever. I think the key to comic book artwork is in the inking. The inking is so unique, so beautiful. It's not something I'm very good at doing, but I would love to do it. I'd love to learn it. I'd love to show it off to you. So if you do want me to do that, then please leave a comment down below. And of course, if you enjoyed this video by the end of it, leave a like on the video. With all that being said, I'm going to sign off right now and let you enjoy the rest of this video. I'll come back at the end and we'll review the final product. I think you're going to like it. I do like it. I have obviously at the time of recording this voiceover finished the drawing. I think it's pretty cool and I do think you're going to like it. So stick around and I surprised myself considering the paper quality. I did surprise myself and I'm very happy with the results. So I'll see you then. Enjoy.
we are at the end of the drawing. It is here, there. You can see it right here. Or is it this one? Oh, it's pretty obvious. It's this one, isn't it? Ugh. But there it is. What do you think about it, guys? You like it? I like it a lot. I think it came out pretty cool. Way better than I expected it to, because I was really thinking the paper was just going to be an absolute nightmare to work with, but it wasn't. It was pretty cool. Now, at the end, I did try to use some pastels to add some cool effects, as you can see with the glow of the kryptonite chains and also the blur of the hands. But, meh, I could have done better had I had better materials to work with. But I think it came out pretty cool. Do you like this is the ultimate question, I guess. I mean, I did pose a question to you before and I hope you commented down below your thoughts on that. But do you like it? We'll throw up on screen a comparison of the two before I did this and after. I think, I mean, it came out way better than I expected it to. I wasn't expecting greatness here. There was a huge challenge and a huge task. And especially considering the fact I don't do much comic book, if any comic book, comic book art at all, if any. So, you know, it, it's it's completely out of my element, but I do like it and I'd love to do some more of this. I just love to do more of this challenge in general, just more coloring book type stuff, because it's kind of cool, it's kind of fun. What do you think about it? Do you like it? Let me know down below, leave a comment, and of course, have yourself a wonderful, wunderbar day. I'll see you in the next video, guys. I'm ADC Art Attack. Take care. Bye.